Mm. Hello, welcome back to my channel. Almost a year ago, I had this idea to make a sculpture, which is this little baby right here. My little bubba. Anyways, I had this idea to make copies. I wanted to make a mold, which was a tragic process. If you guys click the little playlist, you can watch the whole entire process. That way you can get caught up. But for a refresher, I made little molds. I made a whole bunch of plaster casts. I made a lot of them. So since it's the season of love, I wanted to go ahead and make love themed sculptures, even though I'm still single. Also, this video is sponsored by Shopify, and we'll talk more about that later. I also have some big news. So let's go ahead and get into this video. Meet me at the desk. Or actually, meet me at the shelf. That's where all the, the sculptures are. Come on. Well, hello. So these are all the copies that I have left. I was kind of scoping it out, but I found one. Yeah, I'm going to use this one because, you know, it was calling my name. Anyways, I really didn't have any idea of what to do with these designs. I just know I wanted them heart-shaped. And this is me putting down palette paper for who knows what reason because I needed to carve into them anyways. So this is me putting, you know, prepping the table. And this is a little before shot, a little booty smack for good luck. These are all my tools. I also cannot forget the sandpaper. That's essential with this project. I got my paint. Got everything ready to go, but first we shall scrape and carve into this. As you can see, I did practice a little bit just to see how well it would look. So I took a pencil, kind of made little hearts everywhere. This was very random. I kind of loved it. And, you know, this is the first one I made. So I wanted to, I don't know. I don't know what the hell I was doing, to be honest. Love was in the air, I guess. But you know what? I was inspired by those candy hearts that used to get on Valentine's Day. The ones that taste like chalk. Anyways, I couldn't scrape and see what I was doing, so I ended up coloring the outside of this. So when I do scrape, you can really see the color. You know what I mean? Or not the color, but you can see what I'm scraping. Does that make sense? I'm going to let y'all watch. This is fake footage. Don't believe it. I'm not doing nothing in that clip. <laughs> I just thought it would be, I thought it would be aesthetic. <laughs> Boo, more fake footage. <laughs> and then this idea to make little love shaped butt cheeks. Oh, it's so cute. Look at the fucking face. Sorry, I thought that was just really cute. But anyways, this is what it looked like. Um, I did end up making a little bit of a base. So I mixed up some matte paint along with a whole bunch of gesso just to get, you know, something for the plaster to attach to and the paint to attach to. Does that make sense? And I did it for with all these, uh, all these sculptures. So you'll see me doing this with all three of them. And this is my favorite part. This was just coloring in every single heart. I, I'm not going to lie. It was kind of a... Uh, I was kind of like stressing. I was like, which colors would look best? And then I just looked up those candy hearts, those nasty candy hearts that you get. On Valentine's Day, I just said that. But yeah, I'm kind of coloring them in. As you can see, I'm kind of being messy with it because I'm going to paint over the the actual skin. Not the hearts, but like the actual skin with uh, something to hear it a bit. So I thought I was done, but, you know, I ended up switching some of these colors around. But here's me kind of making the skin tone uh, a red, kind of a peachy red. Yeah. A dark red. What would you consider this color? A orange red? I don't know. I painted the whole thing with it, and it really made all the colors kind of pop. You see that? And since I'm going for more of a pastel look, I painted over that with white. But that peachiness, that peach undertone kind of comes through. You can see kind of a red, pinkish tint to it. And making everything pink and red and just making it look like it was kissed by a red paintbrush, I guess. But yeah, this is what it looked like. And then uh, got to do the red hair with the blue top. I thought that was cute. I kind of regret that, but I think I think it's a serve <laughs> if you ask me. So this is what she's looking like, you know, she's kind of a little plain Jane. Then I made a decision to start glossing things up a little prematurely because I don't know if I was really liking this. But of course, the gloss makes it just, I don't know, in my opinion, it kind of makes it look very much juicy, almost more lifelike. Can't forget about the cheekies. The, the cheekies. Then to really bring it to life, I added UV resin to the eyes and pretty much all the hearts to really gloss them up. I was going to keep them matte, but I decided, you know, the matte didn't really look that cute. The gloss was it. So I glossed them all up. As always, the review will be at the end. Now on to the next one. Ooh, this one looks good. So for the second one, I did have this idea to make heart shapes around the eyes and around the butt. 
but not in the butt or on on the butt around the butt anyways so i ended up this is the design as you can see i, I marked it with pencil and i really just dug in with my tools really just carving it up make sure you wear a mask because your girl ate a lot of plaster that day very delicious if i might say so you know what it kind of tasted like those chalky uh candies that we were discussing earlier anyways i'm gonna be scraping for a hot time so I'm, i'll let y'all watch fake video alert <laughs> Fake video is not real. <laughs> oh, that has me screaming. I'm sorry. I'll let y'all watch. And because I'm a little stupid, I forgot to film what she looked like before I started painting this. But I went in with the same gesso mixture and I just dove in. I dove in with this one. I was really excited because I wanted to go full on red theme. So I, I mixed up a whole bunch of reds and I just had the time of my life. I really wanted this to be saturated, but deep. She kind of looked like a clown. But I went in with the same peachy tone for the outside, but I decided to go more of a cool tone. A cool tone for the skin, I mean. As you can see, this is a little greenish, you know, greenish yellow, blue. It's not really green, it's like a yellow as you, shut up. Anyways, that red orange base really, you know, helped because it kind of helped me map out what I wanted to color. So anyways, I started painting more and more and more. And I started layering over the old color because I didn't like the color. And I started making a whole bunch of areas a lot darker to add more depth. The The lips ended up being a lot darker than what you see here. And so is, does the back. But as you can see, I love that little heart-shaped booty. Like it's an upside-down heart. Do you see it? Ooh, and this juicy maroon color. I had to do this same color for the lips. And then I ended up doing a pink on top. And same with all of them. Added the resin eyes to really make it come to life. And just like the last one, the reveal will be at the end. And back to the marker we go. Where's which one? Ooh, I spot you in the back. Ooh, there we go. That's what we're choosing. So let's carve it up. This was the last one I did. I ended up carving all of them all at once. I don't know if you could tell, but I wanted to get the carving process over because it took so long. Also, that looks a little nasty. Suspicious, if you ask me. Uh, anyways, this one has to be my favorite one. Oh, I had this idea while making the other one of doing heart-shaped tears. Because, you know, some people are still single on Valentine's Day. And you shouldn't judge. Calm down. Anyways, I also did this, like, heart-shaped upside-down nose. It also very much looks a little sus. <laughs> but I think, you know, no comment. I like it. Shut up. And this is after, look at it all carved up. This is the only video I have of, uh, you know, me doing a little twirl before I started painting. And same with the other ones, I went in with the gesso mixture. Very creamy, very juicy. You can kind of see all the designs in it. Ooh, but once I started adding the red and the tears, I knew I made the right decision. Ooh, it's so juicy. Now, this does look a little scary. I'm not going to lie because, uh, you know, you'll see for yourself. It looks a little suspicious. You know those strawberry or cherry flavor heart suckers that were like super glossy looking? That's kind of the vibe I wanted for the tears in that back shape. Once again, it's gonna look a little creepy right now. Don't judge. I also went in with the cool tone skin, just like the last one because I wanted the red to really pop. So I went in with the blue, I just went bold because I'm very bold sometimes. I'm a very bold person sometimes. And that right there is a lie because you know what's so funny? I spent two hours the other day researching on what phone case to get and i got so upset i didn't get any of them and if you want to go out with me don't ask me where i want to go because i'm going to look through my coupons before we leave the house but anyways i went in with the lighter shade on top to really add more depth and i kind of just lightened it up like i said i wanted to go for like a pastel look to make all the the really bright reds to really pop do you see what i'm saying also i did like 3d hearts and then i had like the hearts going inside the body. You know, I just wanted a mixture on this one. This one ended up being my favorite. Oh, and then I had a little bit of a, a yellow moment on top of the blue, you know, in contrast. And now it's time for the UV resin. 
we're gonna do the eyes and that back of the heart. I did the back of the heart first because I wanted to really test it out to see what, what it would look like because I was kind of on the fence on whether I should make all the hearts glossy, but I ended up doing that instead. And of course I gotta make my tears glossy because I just freshly got done crying. But like I said, the review will be at the end, but I have some big news to tell you. Brrr, sorry for interrupting. Drum roll, please, I have some big news. I apologize for interrupting the big reveal, but this is some pretty big news. These sculptures are for sale. <laughs> and they're available right now, along with stickers. Look at these stickers! Stickers, I mean stickers! Then the light is so bright, hold on. And these stickers are very limited, so go ahead and check them out before they sell out. So the three sculptures along with these stickers will be available on my store, blackbeancms.com. I know, it's pretty legit now. All thanks to Shopify. Shopify is a fantastic, easy to use, all-in-one commerce platform where anybody can build a custom website. If I could do it, you could do it. No coding needed. You can sell products, services, digital downloads over the internet in no time. And Shopify is available in 175 countries, which makes it so convenient for your customers all around the world. Let your art go global. With Shopify, you can sell things online, in person, and on all major social media platforms. They really work to reduce the barriers of business ownership to make commerce straightforward and better for everyone. Now, I'm pretty new to website building, but it's been a blast to customize fonts, color, pictures. They really made it easy to capture the vibe that you want for your store. So if you've been having an itch to start your own website and really make your brand come to life, I have the perfect thing for you. I, it's perfect. I have a free Shopify trial for you. By clicking the link in the description below, or you can go to shopify.com slash blackbeancms. And again, thank you Shopify for sponsoring this video. Also, be sure to check out my website for the sculptures and the stickers. But at the end of the video, because right now, it's time for the big reveal. Babies, be careful. So here's Delora. She got the big old heart on the back and then the heart shaped boob. -dee. Then we have Amara. She's the one that looks like the little candy heart candies. And then my personal favorite, Eros. He my bubba. And the booties. Oh, I'm dead. This one is probably my favorite. I love this one so much. I love the tears. I'm not gonna lie, these, I'm getting attached to them. But I hope they go to homes that will love them even more. So all of these will be for sale on my website right now, along with the stickers if you go to blackbeancms.com. But if they don't sell, I'm not gonna be sad. So uh, go get yourself some stickers. <clears throat> so uh, thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, concerns, please let me know down below. If you have any suggestions on what I should do next, also let me know down below. And I hope you guys have an amazing Valentine's Day filled with love. And I hope you have an even better Black History Month. We got some content coming up for that soon. But yeah, stay juicy, stay loving, and stay creative. Goodbye.